Hey, what's up guys, Nasdaq here. Today we're in Thinkorswim. Um, we are checking out the Tesla stock and I just wanted to show you guys some indicators and how to build a simple strategy in using ThinkScript in Thinkorswim. So here's the strategy. It's Nasdaq moving average price cross for YouTube and these are just the parameters. It can be found in strategies down at the bottom here. Uh, so I got a few of these and this is just a copy and this is the real one. So um, the way that it looks like on our chart is that we have it set where it will buy after closed above the moving average price and then it buys it on the open of the next one and it holds it until it makes um, either 5% or minus 2%. So in this one, it went down and it sold it after it went down 2%. So if we just check out this uh, trend line, minus 2.23% is where it sold. And then on this one, it's bought and it hasn't sold yet. So, um, but it's up 3.7%. So the best way to do this is to click the scroll icon and this is what the code looks like. Okay, so this is how you wanna start. You want to have your inputs, definitions, order, sales, when you sell every time, uh, plots and alerts, undo it. Okay, so your inputs on trade size is that it's 100. So if Tesla is, you know, 255 times 100, that's a lot of money, 25,000 each trade. Um, price is when these the ticker is closing. Um, you can also set it on the open but uh, I like to have it on the close. Average type, you can have simple, exponential, and these can be changed in uh, when you go in here and click the inputs. Percent gain goal, 5%, and then percent loss goal is minus two. And this is the length of our moving average. So next we want to define our moving averages. So we have a moving average. This is a think or swim function. And then we add the parameters of average type, price, and average length. So this shows that we're using the simple, we're using the close and then a length of 200. The buy signal is when the close crosses above moving average. And a good exit is when the percent change, which is 100 times close minus entry price over entry price, is greater than percent gain goal, so greater than 5%. And then percent change is when it's less than minus 2%. The sales, you order, you buy on open, and you sell on close, right? So. Um, if the buy signal is true, then you buy it on the next one after open. So minus one is into the future. So uh, trade size will be 100, and these are just the colors. I always just copy and paste these and then uh, just quickly change it, exit good or exit bad. Now you add a plot. So if you don't have this plot, you won't see the line of the simple moving average going across the screen. Um, so it really just helps you. That way you don't have to, let's just... That way you don't have to go in here and have it um, repeat all these averages. You can just have them within the plot. And lastly, you can have alerts. And it will say that if buy signal occurs, if it closes or crosses above moving average, then it will give you an alert. Um, SMA price cross. And you can change this to be whatever you want. But SMA price cross. And then if you're in the Thinkorswim app, it'll send this alert. But if you're... If you want it to your phone, uh, I don't think that works. So now that we have this, let's apply it. And the other thing that we have is the floating profit loss. So this is just pretty simple. Um, it just shows that once you buy it, uh, if it goes up, then you're obviously in the green. And as it goes down, then you lose money. So, But it'll show that you're up or down 500 bucks. And then at the end of this, you're up 285. And this is on a quick chart. So 15 days, 15 minutes. So in 15 days, this, this would have only been triggered twice. So the best way to change this is maybe we want an average type of exponential, a gain goal of, let's say 3% is more reasonable, and then we want to keep our losses tight. Um, exponential, we might want the average length to be, let's say 20. And we'll just, okay, that apply it. And so as you see, you get a lot more buy signals. So the buy signals come when it goes, it crosses above the moving average line and then it closes there and then it buys it on the open. So you can see this uh, blue tick right there. So 
it immediately goes down. Uh, this was tough because it was on a new day, so it's a bad time to be trading it. So you need to be watching these. You can't just blindly trade these. But for this one, over a period of two days, it, open, it closes above the moving average. You buy it on the open, then it goes up. So you make your 3%. Overall though, this one isn't as good. Uh, you only make 61 bucks and you know, that's just quick back testing. 90 days. <laughs> uh, this is pretty terrible if you're on a five minute chart. So maybe if you have an hourly chart, it might be, yeah, so it's a lot better. Uh, it can get messy if you're back testing a lot of days, but um, overall, if you're clearly this one is good uh, for breakouts on a much longer time frame, uh, it doesn't, it honestly doesn't seem to be going down too much. But if your average trade size is 100 and Tesla's price is 255 right now, it's 25,000. So you can click the show report. Scroll down, check out, okay, total orders 82. And so out of 82 orders, you only you made back essentially what your initial investing price was around there. So it's not the best, it's not the most efficient, but um, you know, you can see that when it's in an uptrend, it works well. And even though it's green, uh, you're still losing a lot of money, and that's because it's on the downtrend. So these breakouts that are over here, they uh you know, it, it, it would expect the trend to be going up, but it's just not, so it's falling. Anyways, that's just a quick tutorial on ThinkScript, Thinkorswim. That's the easiest way to get started, and you can just start coding your own indicators. Uh, as you can see here, I have plenty of strategies myself. Um, I think these A's are the ones that are working. B's are one that I was testing. I did some for my buddy Sam. And uh, these are just NASDAQ ones that I was going to put on a website or something. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, uh, something that uh, you want me to discuss next time. And smash that like button if you learned something. And I'll talk to you in the next one.